What's going on everyone and welcome back to Minion Simulator where today we're going to be checking out the brand new Easter update. We're going to finish the quest, show you guys how to get that pin with and without the rocket, the new rocket itself, everything that this update has to offer. And just like the St. Patrick's one, they don't have a lot of pets. There's just like three pets and then a huge, but this time the huge actually looks amazing. So let's start with the quest to begin with. This is the first mission that we have to complete we have to find the new hidden pin and for me personally it took a while to realize where it's located at but once i got up here on the chest i noticed it's right behind me so then i thought like how can i possibly get there do i have to jump on this house do i have to jump on the trees and i thought like there has to be an easy solution and this is the best way that you can possibly do this without using a rocket because the way i got it is by using a rocket now if you go to the right of this, you won't be able to reach that tree. So what I did was I kept on jumping on these, I was careful, I made sure that I was elevated to a point that I can jump on the next tree, and if you notice the pink tree all the way next to the house is the closest one to the house that you can actually jump on. And that's how you can get the pin without using a rocket. So yes, there is a way. I see a lot of people on the general chat, they're asking, how is this done? How can you possibly do this? To be honest with you guys, I took the lazy path. I just got up here, I jumped while I had the rocket, and that was it, I got the pin. I did it the super lazy way, but when I realized that people could get it without using that rocket, I went for it. And that's how you can get it. Once you complete the first one, the next one is easy. What you're required to do for your second quest is destroy 100 easter eggs and the best place to do it is right here in the easter event. They're scattered all over the place and they're so close to each other, you just have to walk around for maybe like 3 or 4 minutes and that's it. You get everything completed. I mean given the fact that if you do have strong pets, then it's easy to complete. And once that's over with, the next one is actually also easy, but it also takes a long time to do. But the only requirement for this quest is for you to have patience if you don't have a private server. If you are relying on a public server, you have to have patience. If you have a private server, then you're good to go. But the thing is that these eggs spawn after 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes, one of these appear on the screen and you get a message to show you where they are and they look like this. Now, if you're one of the people who are relying on public servers and you just joined a server, you won't see the messages that tell you that they've already spawned. What you have to do is go to every single world and just look for them. That's all you have to do. Keep on looking for them until you get 20 of them and progress to the next quest. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a counter where it tells you how many are left to find, so you have to keep on doing that, maybe go back to the event quest and see how many are remaining, but eventually you're gonna get a message on your screen and it reads completed giant easter eggs quest and that's it. You're done with the hardest part of this quest. Next up you're required to destroy 50 lucky blocks and I'll tell you what guys, the best way to do this, the best way in my opinion is if you start in the spawn world and you go from the spawn world all the way down to nuclear. Get all of those lucky blocks. Once you're done with that, if you have access to the retro world, then go to the retro world, get all of those lucky blocks and see how much you have. And then in between, just find some places to get them. I assure you that's the fastest way that you can possibly complete this. And it's just fun. It's just a lot of fun. Even though you complete this quest and you get the rocket, I still recommend you guys stocking up on those boosts and get those lucky blocks. Now this one asks us to destroy 25 Easter chests and it's not this obviously, it's the one all the way in the back. Now look at this guys, I don't have my boosts on, but look how much I get, 40,000. That is way too low and I don't have any boosts on. I noticed between 600,000 to less than a million, like barely one million. That's what I get, that's the best I can get without any boosts and I have the strongest stat pet and I got 23 huges equipped. Yes, there are two people on there, but imagine a server with a lot of people. A lot of people just grinding on this chest. I bet you anything you can't even get a single hit in sometimes. That's what I think. I think that the chest needs to be stronger, needs to have more power, and be able to have a lot of people grind on the chest rather than just one hit, it's down. Why I even decided to use that sound effect, I just don't know why. Oh, this update is starting to be with these resets. 
Oh my god, it took forever to come back in game, but we got it done, guys. This is it. We got the rocket, the most beautiful rocket there is so far in game. I think it is the most stunning looking one. It is just simply gorgeous. And this one is called the Hopper Blitz Rocket. Very epic name, epic looking rocket. Can't wait to try it. Let's go ahead and see what it does. Ooh, look at this. Look at that. Wow. This has to be the most beautiful rocket I've seen in game. And it's pretty much free that you get from an event. It's basically free. And it's pretty fast as well. It's not like the basic rocket that you get, which is super, super slow, but still pretty decent speed. And it looks gorgeous. That's the huge plus that you have. It's just stunning to look at. Now imagine this as a huge. Look at it as a huge for a moment. Think of it with no legs. Does it have a humanoid face looking as gorgeous as this? it's going to be a huge seller. It would be a huge seller if something like this was created as a huge, as beautiful as it is. Now let's move on to the pets. This is the Bubblegum Cottontail. I believe I got the name right. And the thing about these pets though, they are very, very low in power. This is an event that was supposed to be released on a Friday. They delayed it to a Sunday. I don't know, I felt like this is going to be an epic, epic release. It is, it is, I'm not going to lie, it is. But the power of the pets are very very low not to what we expect this is the common as a dark matter 173 trillion as a dark matter the rare one looks good the name of it is also pretty cool the rebel rabbit that's a cool name i really like that name the designs of these pets although they're all rabbits you know they're really really cool looking but when it comes to the brand new mythic pet i think they got it all wrong 226 trillion for this as a dark matter that's pretty good for the rare but moving on to this guy, this is the mythic. Unfortunately, such a beautiful looking pet isn't stronger than the current stat pet. It's not even stronger than the current highest legendary pet, which is the zebra. That's the unfortunate part of the update. Everything about the update besides this pet is absolutely stunning. You have the new rocket that is simply gorgeous. You got the new huge that is beautiful. I don't have a new huge to show you, but at least I can show you what it looks like. And you guys get an idea about that because it looks stunning. If people want 250 million for it, I mean, you just have to wait until people maybe start to offer 200, 220. I think that's what they usually go for. But these are all the pets in front of me and we have it even as a light thing. The rare one as a light thing. I actually bought this for like, I think it was 1.5 million. I think that's pretty decent since it's on the first day and I just wanted to show it to you guys. That was it. This is the rare pet, the Rebel Rabbit as a light thing and it looks gorgeous. Now moving on to the huge, I don't have it, but this is what it looks like. And if you see one up close in front of you, it looks stunning. It's gigantic. I mean, usually the huges that they have released so far are like sometimes they're really small like the hamster or they're kind of decent size like the wise warrior, but this one looks massive. And that's all that we have for today's update, everyone. That's the Dark Matter Sharpshooter. The reason why I have it on there is because I wish that it had the same numbers or maybe like the, the new mythic has slightly more power than that, but that's not the case. It is still a beautiful update. And besides the update, I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to this. They finally have a sale on here, 25% off of everything. The last time that they had a sale where they had like a certain percentage off of everything was back in October. That was the last time that you could get discounted game passes. So if you're looking into a way to invest in this game, I suggest buying these game passes, keeping them, waiting until the sale is over with, and then selling them for the price or the original price if that's going to be the case. That's it for today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed everything that's in this video. It would mean a lot to me if you can leave a like down below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. That would mean so much more. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you all on the next one.